Hey guys! So this video is going to be a March 2014 favorites video and the products that I have to show you guys range from uh, drugstore to high-end items ranging from skincare to makeup items and beauty, general beauty products. So the first thing that I have to show you guys is a high-end item and it is a stick foundation from Tom Ford. Um, this is probably one of the more expensive makeup items that I've ever purchased. Um, it was like an arm and a leg, but I got it from uh, Nordstrom and the lady who color matched me at the Tom Ford uh, counter matched me with 07 Tawny. And the reason why I purchased this item initially was because Ray from Rayview recommended this item in one of her favorites videos. Um, I was intrigued because she said, you know, you can use this as a foundation stick, like I've done um, many times before, just kind of dab some product along your face and then use that as a foundation. Or you can use this as kind of like a spot concealer item, which I've done also. I would take my uh, concealer brush and kind of dip the product onto the brush and then just kind of cover some um, acne scarring or whatnot. So it's versatile enough. I think that the consistency is really nice um, and the color matches me perfectly. Uh, from what I saw at the Tom Ford counter, um, they actually had a lot of different shades to choose from, so that's not a big issue. If I were to fault one thing is the price, it's probably like I think, I'm gonna put the price around here, but I think it's about 60 to $70 for a foundation stick. Um, I've used about, I wanna say two or three millimeters of this, and I've had it for just over two months. Um, so we'll see how the longevity of this uh, product lasts, but so far I like it a lot, so favorite. The next item that I have to show you is kind of an older favorite. I had this product, which is the Maybelline Age Instant Rewind Concealer. Um, I think some people use this as like a like a highlighter or brightener, but um, it's basically um, a retractable wand that has a sponge on the top, where you just kind of the um, the wand, and then product goes onto the sponge. And I am in the color light medium. And the product looks like that. Um, I mainly use this on my under eyes and maybe around my nose when it's red. Um, but it's a really nice drugstore item. Um, I think I got this for about like six to eight dollars. I've used this before. Um, I did the mistake of last time purchasing a lighter shade than I actually am. So this time around, I got the light medium color. And the packaging is a lot different than what I had before. Actually, let me go find my old one. This is my old one. So from the old to new, um, the packaging here, at least with the older one, you can tell how far you are from finishing the actual product. Whereas this one, the packaging covers the entire tube. So. Nonetheless, I do like this product. I use this every day under my eyes. The next item that I have is another high-end skincare item and it is the Chanel Hydra Beauty um, Under Eye Gel. Um, it comes in a nice little packaging like this with a Chanel logo. Um, and it has a pump too, which is sometimes nice. I know with my Bobbi Brown a Hydrating Eye Cream, I would always have to dip my finger into the pot, which isn't the most sanitary. So you know with this item, it's not gonna be as unsanitary as you know dipping your finger into the product. Compared to the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, which I love, um, this one is a lot more like a gel texture. Just like that. Um, it's a lot more waterier, it's not as creamy as the other one, but uh, when you lather it onto your under eyes. I usually just use my ring finger and um, distribute the product in the under eye and the orbital bone. Um, it spreads nicely. It is a good base for your concealer. And another thing that I noticed between this and other eye creams that I've used in the past is, is that this one smells a lot more clinical. I don't know if that is a big indicator of it, of an under eye cream um, being effective or not, but it just smells clinical and, and clean. I almost said cream. 
clean. Um, the claims of this product says that it's supposed to be an anti-puffiness and anti-dark circle eye gel. I wouldn't say it prevents dark circles, but it does depuff my eyes. Um, and it is hydrating as well. So, like I said, it provides a good base for my under eye concealer whenever I use this. I usually put this on um, in the morning and the evening time. And this also was a pretty penny. I forgot how much it was. I will leave that in the bottom right here. It's not not cheap. I've been using this for about two and a half months now and I like it so far, so favorite. The next item that I have to show you guys is a drugstore item. It is the CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector. This is a makeup primer. Um, it's Judy Time mentioned about this product in one of her videos and so I had to try it out. Um, this one is pretty bulky of a product. For it being, you know, this much, the packaging is very thick. Um, and it comes with a sponge like this, and as you can see, I've hit pan on it. It's basically a primer that you use with the sponge. You kind of just dab it onto uh, the product, and I think this is silicone based. So you would put this anywhere it's oily on your face, usually my nose and the T-zone, uh, to provide a really good um, primed face before you put on your makeup. Um, and then afterwards, you put your makeup on, and then you would also use this to mattify your face. I've used this countless times to mattify my oily face, and I would say it works. I don't know of the longevity of it being super long. I know that I would go to work and then towards the end of the day, probably eight hours, I would see a little bit of shine towards my T-zone. But uh, nonetheless, I think that in the beginning it works pretty well. Uh, this is the clear version, but there's also a bronzed uh, skin perfector and a uh, shimmery one. I haven't tried those, but those are a little bit compelling, so maybe I might try the bronzed one when it's a little bit um, more uh, sunny outside and I probably get more tan. So that is this product. This is a newer product. I got this at Walmart for about like nine dollars and um, it's supposed to be comparable to Mali Beauty's skin perfector. I hear that Mali is a lot better uh, but I haven't tried that one yet. My cousin has that and she loves hers, but I think for a cheaper alternative, I would try the Skin Perfector from CoverGirl. The next product that I have to show you guys is the Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream. I've been trying this out for like three or four months now, and I would recommend this caveat. My skin is oily to combination skin. Um, during the, the winter months, uh, it's a little bit more dry, but during summer it just gets kind of oily. I would not recommend this during the summer because, like the, the name says, it's a moisture surge, so you do not want to use this on your face if your face is oily. Um, right now, for me, it's okay because it's the cooler months and I'm my face isn't as oily, but um, caveat. If you're dry skin, this works perfectly. If you are oily combination skin and whatnot, try to stay away from it. But uh, the color is actually pretty nice. I, it doesn't say the color here, but I think I'm, oh, I'm light to medium. Um, it looks like that. And it is a CC cream. A CC cream is basically a color corrector. It's supposed to be a lot more light and natural than a BB cream. This has an SPF of 30. Uh, this is a better, this is a good alternative for those who just want um, SPF on their face. Sometimes they're, um, it's a good way to hydrate your face as well. Rather than just using a stick foundation or just foundation in general, this is better for your skin because it has um, moisturizer, SPF, and a little bit of makeup in between. Um, this was about like 25 to $30 when I went to the CCO, the cosmetic company outlet, and I would purchase this again. I think that um, in general, during the drier months, uh, the product on my face made it look really natural, covering up um, any of like the skin uh, discoloration, uh, acne scarring that I have. And yeah, that, it, this did a pretty good job. So if you're in the market for looking for a good CC cream, I would try out the uh, Clinique Moisture Surge, especially if you are dry skin or normal skin. So try that. Next product I have to show you guys is a fragrance. Um, I got this from Zara. There is a new Zara here in Seattle and naturally I went and purchased a few items. This is the Zara Marmore House. Her first Stendam, um, that was a really long German word, but it's the 
I know that with the other different um, cologne, there are different cities that are named for each cologne. This one's the Berlin one. And I love this scent. This is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the other stuff in Zara. This one was like $15. And I don't have any scent that are, that's like this. I have a lot of nighttime scents like my Bulgari, my um, Chanel, Blue de Chanel, my uh, Gucci Pour Homme 2. Um, that one's a little bit more, those three are more musky. This one is a good daytime scent. Um, and I would say that this would also be a good nighttime scent as well. It's really fresh, slightly florally, but not feminine, if that makes sense. Um, I've tried this um, and I've worn this out here, here and there and my best friend Crystal was like, what are you wearing? And I told her that it's from Zara, it's a $15 fragrance. And it just smells really good. I m remember when I went to Seattle for um, one of the first few days of the Zara opening. I tried this on and I liked it, but for me, I don't like to smell it at the store and just purchase it right then and there. My test, my trial is trying it on at the store, walking around, you know, the store, and then leaving. And if if I find myself constantly smelling my wrist, that's a good um, indicator that I should go back and buy this. And I did that. Um, tried it on, smelled it, went shopping around downtown Seattle, and I kept on smelling my wrists. And um, the next day, I ended up going back to the Zara store and um, trying this out. The only caveat to this particular item, though, is that it, the staying power isn't as, as strong. I know with my other luxury uh, fragrances, colognes, um, it would stay and the longevity would stay throughout the day. This one, I would say I would try it on during during the morning time and by lunch it's gone. That's the only caveat. But for $15, I think that I wouldn't mind spraying it um, like twice a day just to kind of uh, keep the scent on. But um, yeah, favorite. Next item that I have to show you guys is a, probably one of the more popular items mentioned on YouTube. Now I'm going to mention again, it is the Beauty Blender. Um, I got mine from... Oh, that's a good question. Where did I get mine from? I might have gotten it from either Sephora or Ulta. Any case, um, this is a really good tool just to have a natural yet even coverage for any of your foundations. I have used it on my Tom Ford that I mentioned earlier, and I've used it on my Clinique uh, Moisture Surge CC Cream. Um, the way that I use it is I dampen this sponge, um, wring it out a little bit so it expands, and then just kind of dab it on, apply the, the product on my face first, and then I use this to spread it out um, when it's damp so it has more of like a, a natural but like really even coverage. One thing that I love about this is that I love the pointy edge here. I use this actually with the Age Rewind uh, concealer um, because it has a nice little pointed edge just to reach kind of the, the smaller portions of your face. So um, I got this for like, I don't know, like 10 to 15 dollars. Uh, my problem is cleaning this because I haven't found a good cleaner for it. I know that there's a dedicated um, shampoo for this item. I've been using my Bare Minerals Well Cared For Brush Shampoo uh, to clean it. Don't know, but um, I love this so far. And the last item that I have to show you guys is a bath item. It is from Molten Brown. It is the Warm Eucalyptus Bath Therapy Gel. I got this from Nordstrom Rack and I was actually pretty surprised that this product was there because this is a pretty luxurious product. I remember going to Singapore two years ago at like a bougie ass hotel and they had Molten Brown products and I, from there I was like, oh I've never heard of Molten Brown and then I searched about it and it's actually really luxurious. Um, I love the scent, it's warm, warming eucalyptus, it just smells like pretty aromatic and therapeutic and I like using this when I have a cold. I've used this for like, I don't know, a month and I'm already about this way filled, this way finished. Um, it just smells really soothing and minty, uh, of course eucalyptus, but um, what I like to do is I like to go in the shower and then kind of 
put a little bit of the gel in my hand and then kind of lather it and just kind of like smell it. <laughs> Is that normal? I don't know. But it just smells so good in the shower and it makes me super calm, especially before going to bed. Um, it's nighttime right now, so I'm probably going to take a shower after this and use this per usual because I've used this so many times. But uh, this was about like, I want to say $20 at the Nordstrom Rack. And um, I really, really do recommend this product. It's amazing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. I'm sorry if this is a really long video, but I wanted to be concise for you guys. So um, leave me a comment down below to tell me of any products that I should be trying. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.